Definitions are of most importance. Definitions have to be agreed on and must give one meaning for one word. If a definition can't be agreed on, then no contract can be made and even any conversation is of no use whatsoever. Unfortunately, most of us make the big mistake to assume and to presume. This is what the solicitors equals prostitutes and by far most of the men and women in legal profession use against the innocent. They use our innocence and naivety to turn this into their gain by taking any definition from one of eight or more dictionaries that the judge and or the barristers have at their hands, which amounts to taking our innocent without our consent, which is equal rape. Taking our innocent without our consent is the definition of rape. Most people claim that rape is purely a sexual act forced on a male or female and therefore a crime. The purely sexual act forced on a male or female is sexual rape, which is a very serious crime. However, any kind of rape, whether sexual, emotional, mental, spiritual and or any form of physical rape is rape and therefore despicable. In essence, there is no difference between the different facets of rape because they all stem from perversion. Judge Helen Black, who is regularly not disclosing her full name in order to evade prosecution, pursuant to the section 2, 3, 4 and 12 of the Ford Act 2006, the section 1 and 3 of the Forgery and Counterfeiting Act 1981, and the section 5 of the Perjury Act 1911, Judge Helen Black even had the audacity to make false statements and or misleading statements for the purpose of enrichment, which has been proven in the crime committed on Santiago, Yolanda and Leonardo, which we all well know. A living woman who makes herself known as Judge Helen Black, or to be more precise, in the public as Judge Black, in the Portsmouth Family Court, in the case of Santiago, is therefore a rapist and fraudster. And even more than that. But this we keep for a later clip. 